rapping on war, peace, bone thugs, and Harmony goes on tour with a mixed message by Sheila Simmons, Plain Dealer Reporter, August 25, 1997. Publication, The Plain Dealer, Cleveland, Ohio. On a muggy Sunday afternoon around Euclid Heights Boulevard and Coventry Avenue in Cleveland Heights, the sounds of bone thugs and harmony blare from a passing car stereo. This breezy commercial corner is generally populated by youths with spiked hairdos and loose denim shorts or folksy types in leather sandals out for a mug of flavored coffee. But the passing strains of rap music hardly seem an invasion to the peaceful outdoor scene, ebbing and flowing with the day's intermittent bouts of rain. The song has warm, gentle vocals. Its tone is inviting, and the refrain is like a Michael Jackson humanitarian fantasy, dreamed up when the king of pop still had street credibility. If I could teach the whole wide world to live in harmony, then I could teach the whole wide world to be a thugsta just like me. Bone is not always harmonious, but at least take into consideration what it means by thugs, trues humbly united, gathering, souls, trues means true friends. If I Could Teach the World is a track from Bone's new album, The Art of War, Relativity Records, which debuted recently at number one on the Billboard pop charts. With the single scheduled to be released to radio tomorrow, the rap quartet will return to their role as musical peacemakers, of sorts. That's not exactly a popular image among the posturing, warring factions of the hip-hop nation, but it could work well for Lazy, Crazy, Wish, and Busy Bone as the four Cleveland-born rappers strike out on their first major tour. We way pumped up, an excited Lazy said, from his Mo Thugs Records office in Maple Heights. We're ready to do our thing. The tour, which also includes Mary J. Blige and Drew Hill, arrives Friday at Gund Arena. Cleveland and future tour stops Chicago and Los Angeles are friendly territory. Together, urban markets accounted for 16% of the first week sales for The Art of War, according to figures provided by SoundScan Inc. Bone will also play Orlando, Flaw, where hip-hop's bass swings hard and fast. Houston, where listeners like their rap harsh and along a psychological edge. And New York, where rap thumps to dense, sonic, underground sounds and features brain food lyrics. Above ground, New York delights in the poppish loops of Sean Puff Daddy Combs. The shows and audience receptions will say a lot about Bone, which is on a course to become one of the most successful rap groups in history, with a multi-platinum EP, Creepin' on a Come Up, and multi-platinum debut album, E1999 Eternal. But they may also say something about hip-hop, as the music-based culture rouses itself from mourning the deaths of Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G., Christopher Wallace. The beloved Shakur was slain in Las Vegas last year, and his rival, the notorious B.I.G., was shot to death in his pickup truck in Los Angeles earlier this year. But their voices and memories continue to make money. Bone collaborated on songs with both artists before their deaths. But for a while, rap seemed stuck, leaning heavily on the past and tried-and-true formulas. Now it shows healthy signs of bouncing back. Still unsure of role, Wu-Tang Clan knocked the Spice Girls out of the number one spot on Billboard's pop charts last month with its double album, Wu-Tang Forever. Two weeks later, that album was replaced at the top by Combs' album, No Way Out. The following week, Bone knocked Combs off the throne. Last week, Combs was back on top and The Art of War had dropped to number three, but rap is still unsure of whether it will be a vehicle for peace and progress or for more of the violent ghetto stories that have held audiences for the last decade. Artists themselves seem torn between the two directions. Take Bone, for instance. Its marketers are thrilled with the potential for If I Could Teach the World. Insiders are telling us it could be another crossroads, said Kevin Carroll, vice president of promotions for Bones label, Relativity Records. He was referring to the two million selling single by Bone that touched listeners throughout the country with its reflections on death. The song tied a Beatles record with its swift two-week climb to the top of pop singles chart. It's a lot more community-oriented and without that violent of a flavor to it. Carol said of If I Could Teach, 
Another song off Bone's new album is gathering even more attention because of its violent tone, as well as its brilliance. Thug Love roars with the energy of Shakur and Bone members fearlessly preparing for Armageddon, a biblical reference to the final battle between good and evil before Judgment Day. But most striking is a background of beats kept by a shotgun whose chamber clicks twice, then fires off a pair of blasts. So eager was Los Angeles radio station KKBTFM to play the song, undoubtedly spurred by Shakur's presence, that it yanked unreleased Thug Love off the album and, for the week ending August 8th, made it the 17th most played single in the second biggest market in the country. Other stations followed in Washington, D.C., San Francisco, and Jacksonville, Florida. Some radio stations have problems with it, Carol admitted. We had to send it out without a gunshot sound effect. Personal controversy, too. Bone has garnered controversy in its members' personal lives as well. Founding an unofficial Bone member, Flesh and Bone faces charges in Los Angeles of intimidating a witness and possessing explosives. Wishbone was arrested earlier this month for aggravated disorderly conduct after an altercation that started when someone allegedly slapped a dancer on the buttocks at Tiffany's Cabaret in Cleveland's flats. Wishbone has denied the dancer's accusation and his attorney hopes to settle the matter in a pretrial hearing in municipal court Wednesday. But whether you like Bone's aggressive street nature or its humanitarian side, Bone has big plans to draw more listeners nationwide under its spell with a splashy tour performance. It's more theatrical, promises Lazy. We're not just performing. There's going to be acting involved in it. The stage is set up with big inflations, bombs, everything to enhance the art of war. Perhaps Bone will convert a few hip-hop thugs. Lazy offers the informal definition of thug. A person who goes through everyday life, who deals with the good and bad, and comes out on the top of the good side. The Plain Dealer will follow the progress of Bone Thugs and Harmony's tour as it crosses the country. Beyond the